Forever Red is one of the most memorable episodes of Power Rangers of all time. It consisted of every Red Ranger up until that point in time teaming up to take on a common enemy. It still bothers me to this day that the show producers never put the same attention to other coloured rangers. Imagine how incredible Forever Blue or Forever Green could have been. Even Forever Pink, there's so many epic possibilities. But anyway, rewatching Forever Red got me thinking. If I could only have a five person team of Red Rangers, who would make the list? What would be the perfect Forever Red team? Let's find out. Now, of course, this team is just my opinion, and you guys are more than welcome to give me yours in the comments down below. But for now, let's start with the most obvious. A ranger that I am very confident would make everyone's list. Jason Lee Scott, the original Red Ranger. A natural-born leader and a very talented martial artist in his own right, even with powers aside. Jason is the obvious choice to lead this team of Red Rangers. I cannot think of a better leader, and having the ability to fight evil even without his powers could potentially be vital. As we know, there have been many occasions where rangers have lost their powers or haven't had access to them for whatever reason. Being able to still take on some putties or whatever other henchmen may be in the way is a skill that cannot be underestimated. On top of all that, he is also very experienced when compared to other rangers, having returned after his stint as the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger to be the Gold Zero Ranger. Next I'm going to pick one that many of you may not expect, or perhaps this is one that you wouldn't even think of. My second ranger is going to be Eric, the Quantum Ranger from Power Rangers Time Force. Although he is not a main member of a ranger team, he is still a red ranger, and I think he would bring something to the team that no one else would. That sort of take no crap attitude. He doesn't mess around, if he wants something, he takes it. I think he would be the anti-hero type ranger, the one willing to do what is necessary when others aren't. A vital addition to the team in my opinion. Next I'm going with TJ from Power Rangers Turbo. TJ is a selfless hero who, when faced with great adversity, doesn't hesitate and does what's needed even when he doesn't have the resources. In the final battle against Divatox, both the Megazords are destroyed, so TJ puts his own life on the line to deliver a head-on attack. Where others would have given up, TJ just keeps going, and then some. He fought to the bitter end when Parantosaurus destroyed the power chamber, refusing to escape without Alpha. Not only that, but he was also a fantastic Blue Ranger in Power Rangers in Space. And I would arguably say, one of the best Blue Rangers ever as well. So for that reason, TJ is the heart of this team. Now, these last two picks were extremely difficult for me. There were many that I wanted to include. Lauren from Samurai was a great Red Ranger, but didn't really give the team something that the others didn't. Zato from Power Rangers Dino Fury was considered as well. Also, Wes from Lost Galaxy and Carter from Lightspeed Rescue. But after much deliberation, I am pretty confident with my final two. So with that being said, my fourth pick is Andros from Power Rangers in Space. Who escaped Divatox, Lord Zed, Rita Repulsa and a bunch of other villains? Andros. Even more impressive, this was something that he accomplished right at the start of the show as his character's introduction, instantly cementing his place as one of the most interesting rangers in the franchise's history. He was also not from Earth, being from the planet KO-35 meant that he also had some other interesting abilities, such as telekinesis. He was also a great combatant that led the rangers against some of the toughest villains they've ever faced, including the likes of the Psycho Rangers. And let's not forget he was responsible for pretty much wiping out the majority of evil at one point in time, when he chose to destroy Zordon for the good of the Earth, another character that has the ability to make the difficult decisions for the right reasons. Finally, we have one ranger left. I know that there are some people out there that aren't fans, but in my opinion, he is the greatest ranger of all time, and any list that he can be a part of, he absolutely has to be a part of. Tommy Oliver. As the Red Ranger on not one, but two different teams, Zeo and Turbo, Tommy Oliver has one of the most distinguished ranger careers ever. Tommy may understand the demands of the position of the Red Ranger better than anyone else, Thanks to his guidance, the Rangers in Power Rangers Zeo become one of the strongest teams in history. Not only that, but he has proven on multiple occasions that he can lead a team well, but, and this is important, he can also be led and take orders. I think that Jason is the better leader by a smaller margin, so it's important that Tommy is able to step aside when necessary. 
though having his skills and experience in the team would be absolutely vital, whether it's in a leader position or not. Okay, that is my Red Ranger dream team. I'm very excited to hear your teams in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you thought of my picks. Before I go today guys, I want to tell you about this video sponsor. It's actually one of our other websites, the Tabletop Alliance. If you're into role playing games or tabletop gaming or 3D printing, then you will hopefully be interested in checking out our Patreon or website. By signing up to our Patreon, you get access to monthly releases at a discounted price. We have lots of different tiers depending on what you're interested in. We have a fantasy option, a sci-fi option, or an option for both. You can also choose between receiving your monthly deliveries as physical resin miniatures, or if you would rather print them yourselves, you can opt to have them as digital STL files for a lower cost. We are honestly extremely proud of our custom characters, and we think you guys will love them. They fit in perfect to whatever tabletop game you are playing, whether it be proxies for Middle Earth or Warhammer, or even a D&D campaign or maybe you're just looking for something new to paint. There is a ton of variety to choose from. But if Patreon isn't for you, you can purchase individual models through our web store, again available in both physical and digital forms. Also, if you guys buy anything, paint it and send us a picture, we will send you a 50% off discount code for your next purchase. That's it for me today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. May the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.